guys welcome back to my channel i appreciate you being here um i want to talk about something so i made a video called who's mad and in one of the topics in that video i discussed the unknown okay i talked about what uh thread up had planned on doing with coupons and how the coupons were going to be taking off of the price and I also commented on what a thread up price is. So I'm still not uh, experiencing, you know, someone can tell you something all day long, but until you experience it for yourself, it's not going to be as, you know, as memorable or a, a greater learning experience. So I feel like I learned through trial and error with resale. So today I just want to talk for a couple minutes about this 20% coupons that have been popping up in my sales so thread up has an extensive turnaround time okay so i've been dropping a couple of my prices because i don't want them to take so long to move off of the shelves so um i guess i guess i can start off by talking about this this return this item was returned it's a simply emma pullover sweater uh, let me click on it so you guys can see it a little better. All right, so it's a pretty decent sweater. It's pink and it has the sides uh, kind of longer on the side. So it's kind of like an asymmetrical sweater. Um, I have it, it's a size 1X. I have it listed at $44.99. So someone purchased the sweater. Let's go back. Someone purchased the sweater and they returned it. So that's why it says returned. Now, once someone returns something, if they return something in your store, uh, what's going to happen is it goes back to the store. The time starts over again. And then that person, um, someone has the opportunity to purchase it or, you know, it can go back on sale. But once they do, your payout should come immediately. So I don't know if I want to drop this price because people have been using a lot of coupons, which I have to pay for. And I, when I tell you I'm in such disagreement with this, it is some of the worst crap I have ever seen a company, company implement. So let me show you guys what I mean. All right. So... Aeropostale. It's not really popular anymore. It's just a little like long sleeve type, you know, cardigan type little tee, a uh, long sleeve thin. It was thin at that. So I figured I would just, you know, post it $13.99, get $1.47 off of it. I literally paid a quarter for this or, um, yeah, I think I paid a quarter for it. So, you know, no issues. So somebody has reserved this. Basically, it's in their cart right now. Um, and since it's been returned, if they buy it, I get the dollar forty-seven immediately. All right. That's not my problem. Here is my problem. So let's see here. Limited long sleeve button down shirt. Here it is. I showed this to you guys in another video, but I didn't really elaborate on it. This item was purchased with a 20% off promo code after it had been listed for over seven days. So your payout was reduced accordingly. Why is my payout reduced accordingly? This company, I posted an article on my Instagram page stating that this company is projected to be in the billions by 2025. Why are you guys chopping that 20% off of my already low total? And then my second question is, is that if they're going to go ahead and make us eat up that 20%, it should be some kind of standard, like only on items $20 or more, you know, because this item was already listed at $17.99. I was only going to get paid 13.5% for it. So potential payout is crazy right now, $1.95. So I got $1.95, all right? Again, my cost of goods was not that much, but damn, I didn't want, I wanted to at least see $3 return, not a dollar and some change. Here is a J. Jill cardigan. Same, same situation. Let me scoot it up for y'all. Same situation. 
This item was purchased with a 20% off promo code after it had been listed for seven days, so your payout was reduced accordingly. So instead of it being $26.99, they lowered it down to $21.60. My payout is $4.00. So in this kind of situation, the only way for me to continue to get to get ahead in general and stay ahead would be for me to increase my prices. All right, let's move on. This one didn't do it. This They didn't use a coupon for this. This was $27.99 for a pair of cargo pants for Lane Bryant, $5.32 payout. This is a dress, uh, $22.99, $3.80 payout. This one is Express Cardigan. And so I was telling you guys before that I didn't want to show you some of these amounts because people still have that window to return. But I know you guys are kind of wondering like, hey, and I even got a message, you know, from someone, a really nice person that left me a message. I appreciate it. And um, I just have that one potential payout video right now because the process to get paid is so slow. Uh, so, you know, it takes about a week for them to get to get the bags. Even if I pay $16 for expedited shipping, it takes them three, uh, one to three weeks to process the bag. So that's a month right there. <laughs> that's four weeks. Then the items can either be placed on, um, on sale for what, 30, 60, 90 days. And so, and then the person has 14 days to return it. And some people wait until the very last day, like that 14th day. It could be two months, you guys, before I can give you a legit video. And I'm going to show you. So look at this. This is a problem. Why are you allowed to take 20%? off an item that's priced $8.99. That's what I mean. If it's under $20, you shouldn't even be able to use a promo code to take anything off of my $8.99. So I'm getting 49 cents for this dress. I found it for a quarter, but if I didn't find it for a quarter, what if I would have paid a dollar for it? You know what I'm saying? That would have just, that's worse. All right, um, deliver, return allowed until um, November first. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I really can't give you guys an adequate amount of what's going on as far as my payouts because it just takes time. It takes time to move. Let's see if they use a the coupon, which they did. 20% off coupon. My item was listed at $27.99. This was a, a pullover sweater. I'm going to click on this because I want to see the sweater. I should have never priced it at $27.99. It has like the little, oh, sorry. It has like the little sleeves, little design on the sleeves, extra large sleeves. This can be worn as a dress with some tights or something. And I actually think this is a dress. I don't understand why they listed this as a sweater. And that's another thing. They don't list things correctly. I already showed you guys that in another video. Um, I sent that email on October the 8th about my dress that's not listed properly with the material. And I have yet to have a return on my email. That's what, 19 days ago or something? So like it's been almost three full weeks and I have no, no response to the email they really need to get it together they really need to get it together so i have no problem with sharing my payments with you guys um let's see if i can show you guys something else okay so it says that i've earned 90 dollars and 21 cents that's not the money that i get you guys Here's the money that I get. Available earnings, $27.08. Now, I've sold more than 11 things, but you have to understand that they have to go through that entire process that I just mentioned. Selling, the 14-day waiting period to return it. It actually has returned and it has cleared. And then it goes into your total earned. The total earned is still not your money. This is your money. Available earnings. That's your money. I have 15 kits right now, um, and I'm selling 10. So I have five that's waiting to be posted, okay? So potential earning $24,0798. When you start doing that and you get that potential earning and it starts getting up into 1,000s, 2,000s on up, you know, you really put an expectation on it, but you have to be realistic. So the last thing I'm going to do is run through this with you guys. 
So, um, let's see. I have four things sold out of this bag. Seven sold out of this one. One sold out of here. Three. Two. Let's go to the next page. But some of these things can, can be returned. Somebody bought a pair of my... Um, Lucky brand pants and, and literally I bet you she flaunted around the town in them pants for two whole weeks and returned them. That really pissed me off. Uh, 14 items for sale. Let's see. I got four sold out of here. 10 sold uh, out of this one bag. And see, I just showed you guys this bag because that's that dress right here. You can't really see it. That's the dress and the sweater that I just showed you. So out of that bag I just showed you is 10 items. And this one right here says one in other state. It has literally been in other state for almost two weeks. There's no information on this dress. I can't really just say, well, let me contact customer service and find out what's going on. Because the return time for them to call you back or, or not call you back, but email you is like indefinitely. You don't really know when they're going to contact you. So I just... I said, let me just keep watching it and find out what the heck one item in other state means. Because it doesn't say that it's it's being paid out. Um, honestly, I think it should have paid out by now. So I really have no clue what's going on with it. Their customer service really, really, really should get it together. It's the worst customer service I've ever seen so far. Um, eight items sold in this bag. I have a lot of things that I'm, I'm waiting on these payments to be released. Um, like this Lane Bryant jacket. They ended up using, let me show you guys. They use coupons for a lot of these things. Yep. So who's mad? I'm mad. Because <laughs> I told you guys, I said, I can't really comment on it until I learn how it affects me. I didn't lie to you. I told the truth. I said, I do not know how I feel about this until I have an example. Well, I have plenty of examples. Be careful what you ask for, all right? So here it is. Deliver, return allowed until 11-6. So we don't know if this person is going to keep it or not. You get excited about an item because it sells, and then you go through this long waiting period, and then on the 14th day, the item disappears out of the sale, and you're like, uh-oh, did it not sell? Did they return it? You don't know anything for three days, and then all of a sudden, it pops back up in your sale items, your, your for sale items. So it's like, geez, okay? So they use a 20% off coupon. I had it listed at $50.99. It sold for $40.80. I get 30.6% out of that, $12.49. But because I have until November the 6th, where it says here, you'll be paid out on this item when the return window has passed. If your item is returned and purchased again, you'll be paid out immediately. These are limited pads. Pants, they sold for $5.66. Uh, see here. These pants were $18.99. Somebody used a 20% off code for that. $15.20. I got 14.2%. I made $2.16. So, um, let me just tell you guys where my goals are moving forward. I have... 15 bags um, posted. I have like, every time the number goes down, once they receive a bag, I order a new one. So I literally probably have like eight in route or something like that. Um, once the holidays is over and these sweaters or dresses or whatever have you, if there's anything left, some things I have to reclaim soon. I have like 20 something days. I'm going to let them have the stuff that I don't want, um, which is a huge loss for me. Um, even if I did pay a quarter or 50 cent for it, like something that I just might not want. Let me give an example of that to you. I'll show you that. Mm, let's see. I don't think it's nothing here because I want all my stuff back from here. If it's a sweater, I want it. See, here's those uh, true religion pants. It says return 79 days to sell. Now, I just dropped the price because somebody bought them at 150 something. My payout was supposed to be 113 and some change. 
So I guess that person just, I'm telling you, warm for two weeks and was like, you know, I think the return period should be, you know, three to five days because that's more of a renting service and people can just haul off and say, you know what, let me order this and run out of town right quick. I mean, I know it's COVID, but people are still flying and traveling and going out and doing stuff. Let's be realistic. And 14 days to have an item and then decide to return it back is a long time. So like I said, um, let's just say, for example, I don't want these Lane Bryant khakis. You know, I can reclaim them. Here's the reclaim button on the side. I'm going to be reclaiming my things and, uh, you know, once I get this, all this inventory out that I have right now, get it rotated between my home and my storage, I'm going to start reclaiming my items because I am not in business to do favors for people. You know, I have to go out and source these clothes and I am trying to save up for my Sprinter. I do not have a car right now, so sometimes I take the bus or I take Uber or list um, it's not costing me a lot right now so and I'm saving money by not buying gas and paying insurance and I'm not running around every day I know this is a sidebar but I'm trying to help you guys understand the goal here I'm not into giving my money away <laughs> and these coupons are not cool you understand what I'm saying I feel like it should be some kind of category that says if you have this type of brand or this level of a brand opposed to this kind of brand we'll put this in category I don't like surprises basically that's what I'm saying I don't like surprises I don't want to click on something that I thought I was going to get a payout for this amount and then another thing that got me was I told myself well what if what if somebody used a 50% off coupon what if somebody used a 40 I wouldn't be getting anything you understand what I'm saying that's a surprise payment I just don't like surprises like that you know, the mystery is too much mystery in this company. I feel like um, I, I read the website. I tried to do a good job of reading everything. Watching you guys on YouTube been great, a great help to me. Um, and just, you know, getting in little groups, reseller groups and stuff. So you guys do as much research as you can. I do have some high end items on here. You know, dresses listed at $200 and such. But, you know... Who's to say that somebody won't come and buy that $200 dress with a 50% off coupon and your pay is not what you thought it was going to be. And you don't want to jack your prices up to two and $300 because it, it makes for a harder sale. <sighs> That's a mouthful, you guys. So who's mad? I'm mad. <laughs> On some real. I keep it real. I'm not going to play with y'all and sugarcoat it. I'm not happy about this 20% off coupon. And I've just been thinking about what if it's a 30, 40, or 50% off coupon. I'm going to be even more upset. So thank you guys for tuning in. Comment, please. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the alert bells because I don't have a particular day I put these videos out. I do whatever I want when I feel. So that's how that goes. I'm getting ready to share a haul with you guys in a minute after I post this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace and blessings. I appreciate y'all.